Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my favorites and hate it of my subscription box for of my subscription boxes for the month of April. I'm currently subscribed to Ipsy, Birchbox, and BoxyCharm. And um, I decided to do it in this format because I wanted to give you an idea of what products I was excited for, what products I thought were good products that were in my boxes, and also what products I really didn't care for too much. Um, I'm not going to go through all my products from my boxes, but I will have everything in the description bar down below. So let's just get started. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Star Look Liquid Eyeshadow. The color is Rose Gold. And the reason why I'm not too excited about this is when I unboxed it, I or I put it on and it was fine. Um, the color is beautiful, but when you go to sh blend it in, it shears out a lot. You can't even really see the product anymore. And if you don't shear it out right away and you let it set, it goes completely patchy and it looks terrible. So that's one thing that I was kind of upset about with it was that it was just so patchy and just didn't end up looking too good after blending it out if I let it set for too long and if I blended it out too early then it went really really sheer. It's a beautiful color. It might be good for a natural makeup day and maybe I just need to play with it a little bit more but as of right now it's just kind of a miss for me. The RMS Beauty, Beauty The Ultimate Makeup Remover Wipe. When I originally did my unboxing, I did it here on camera, and this was one of the worst makeup wipes I've ever used. It's like pure coconut oil. So maybe it wasn't the worst, but I just wasn't expecting that much oil to be all over the place. It covered the palms of both of my hands and also just left this really greasy, oily feeling all over the backs of my hands after trying to wipe swatches off, and it didn't really take them off either. So this was definitely a miss for me. Now let's get into the products that I'm actually excited to try. There is this product from, and I got it in my Birch Box, and this is the Ol All-in-One Milk. This product is a leave-in conditioner, and what I do with it is I spray it in the ends of my hair. Lately, the ends of my hair have been really dry, so I've been really into leave-in conditioners, so I can't wait to see how this one works out. The next two products I am going to show you are both from my Ipsy bag, and, uh, and this first product is a crown brush. It's a dual fiber brush. And um, if they say it's a blush brush, but I actually use this to do a really diffused um, light contour. Uh, the brush is very, very flat, so you can really get into the hollows of your cheeks and um, sculpt out your cheekbones, but have it be really, really natural. And I really enjoyed this brush for that. The next product that I got in my Ipsy bag is another product that I'm really excited about. It's the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Wonder. And I'm really excited for this because I have not tried a Tarte Lip Surgeons yet. And um, it's a really beautiful color. Let me just swatch it for you. This is the color. It's kind of a pinky red shade. And I'm just really excited to try it. It seems really moisturizing and it seems like it would be a good lip product. Probably not a long lasting lip product, but definitely a good one. The next products I'm going to show you are all from my BoxyCharm box, and I'm not one who really enjoys um, getting surprise hand creams in <laughs> my boxes. I like to go to stores and see how they feel, see how they smell, all of that stuff. So at first I was not too excited about this Anderson Lilly hand cream, um, but after I tried it, it's such a beautiful scent and it's not a very greasy formula. It really soaks in quickly, and I actually really enjoy it. So this is the Anderson Lily Beach Butter Hand Cream, and I believe the scent is Manhattan Beach. The next product I'm gonna show you is the this Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. It says it hydrates and nourishes, heals, and softens 
It has, it's petroleum free and for all skin types. I have lately been into the liquid lipstick trend as everyone has been and I love a good lip balm and this one is awesome. I love having lip balms available in each of my purses so this will definitely go into one of my handbags. This next product is one that I have not tried many of in any brand and this is the Blink Black Lash Primer. I haven't used a lot of lash primers, so I'm really excited to try this one. Um, I've used a lot of fiber mascaras and that kind of thing, but to prime your lashes and just make them a little bit thicker and then be able to put mascara on top of that and not have fibers falling into your eyes, that will be um, probably really great considering I wear contacts. So this I am really excited to try out. And the last product I'm going to talk about is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. I was actually eyeing this product online and it just so happened that I got it in my BoxyCharm and I am so happy that I did. Um, I love this formula and I am really excited to get more. I actually just placed an order for about five more of the long lasting liquid lipsticks from Ofra. So I'm really excited to get them in the mail and I can't wait to try out the different colors. So that wraps up my monthly subscription boxes, likes and dislikes. If you like the format of this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will continue to do this video in the future. So also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys.